So in your package, guys, this is what you get. This is all you get. You might get another plug, but I think this is all you get off of memory. You get your GPS unit to the left, and that is the bottom of it. When you mount it, you want that side facing up, and then you get this. Um, we're going to start top left corner. Your in is your video in. VCC is uh, positive. Ground is negative. Below that, that's what this cord off of the GPS unit is going to plug into. And it's already ready to go. You can see it's ready to go. The only thing you have to do is match up the black wire. And make sure that the black wire is on the bottom. Just plug it in. And then up here is your video out. That's going to go to your transmitter. Your VCC, which is your positive and negative. Now this middle piece is for a second battery. I'm not running a second battery, so we're not using that. We're only utilizing one battery, and that's the battery that's going to control the vehicle or drone. And then you put your positive and negative in there. All right, let's get this together. We're all torn apart. The first thing you're going to want to do, and you want to make sure this is plugged in always, is your GPS. It's labeled GPS. Your ground is your black wire on your GPS plug. As you can see here, you have a black wire. That's the only thing that you have to match up to make sure it's plugged in right. You can see the black wire is on the bottom. We're just going to plug this in. And this comes with it. Super simple. Bam. GPS is hooked up now. Now, the second thing that you're going to want to plug in is your plug for your battery which VCC is positive ground is negative what I've done here is a super simple plug I've done a female balance lead to a two cell because that's usually what I use if you are running a three cell get a female three cell four cell etc and then I've just tied that in to positive and negative wires on a lossy connection and I've shaved the sides that way it can go in again we are labeled ground on the bottom. So we're just gonna make sure our black wire matches. This way, like I said, we're not using two batteries. This way we get an exact reading on the battery that we are gonna use on the quad. This'll go in the quad. This'll go in this connection to power this unit. And also will give a exact readout of what the draw on the battery is. The next thing we wanna plug in is up here, which this is our camera up here. We'll try to zoom in on there this right here is for our camera that's video in power and ground now if you don't know the voltage of your camera i don't suggest plugging your vcc in here i suggest plugging it into your transmitter like you would normally do i tried to plug in the camera that i'm using which is the firefly mini bamzo $20 1080p camera um, I tried plugging that in there and it would turn on and turn off so it wasn't outputting enough voltage so I don't think you'll fry anything if you plug it in here because it's probably a low voltage meant for something like this camera over here which you can use you can use just a regular camera that you would plug into a transmitter um, it has the same wires it has your red yellow and black your yellow is your video out your red is your positive and your blacks your negative but we're we're using a firefly so this is my setup. We have the Firefly, we have the plug, and again, we have the same wires coming out. Red, positive, black, negative, and yellow for our video out. As you can see, I have my positive split off and we have our video and negative here. So we need to make sure we get the wires correct. And what I've done here, you can see, we have a positive wire running to this cord as well that is not connected to anything it's not connected to anything so what we're going to do is let's see our negative is our darker colored wire so we need to match that up so we're going to match this darker colored wire up here or, or down it's actually down we're going to match it up here down this is a three pin but my center pin we're not using so we are just going to go ahead and plug that in now my brown which is my negative and my yellow, which is video in, is connected. And again, this red wire, which leads to nothing, as you can see, the red wire goes here, and then it leads to nothing. We're not using. We're connecting our red wire to our transmitter like we normally would. So the voltage out on the transmitter, you want to go ahead and just tap, which I've done here. So this black wire that's leading into here is this blue wire which would be your voltage out. And then we have, I'm sorry, it's the red wire. 
the red wire, which would be your voltage out, and then, because we're not using the blue wire on this, and then this yellow wire up here is your video in for your transmitter. So here's a little look at the transmitter. We have our positive and negative, which is your red wire. And then this feed would normally connect directly to the camera, kind of like this directly connects to the transmitter. So what we have to do next is connect our positive and negative, which is going to be our VCC and ground. Super simple. We're going to connect our positive and negative, which is this one, your red and black red and black coming off of your transmitter. Let's connect our positive and negative, and I've left enough that I can see the top's positive, the bottom's negative, and even on here, I might be wrong. Let me see here. I might actually have to check this, hold on. So I did check that and I had it reversed. I had the positive going to negative and negative going to positive, which could have resulted in some bad issues here. So I'm gonna leave that bare just for time being and then we'll tape it up before we power on. So we connect this, again, your transmitters, positive and negative, that is split from these wires is your positive and negative. That's what the power is going to come from and on this unit, your VCC and ground is what you need to plug that into. So the ground is on the bottom, so our black wire needs to be on the bottom. Again, we're gonna tape that up before we get uh, powered to this because we're just about ready to get power. We have one more wire to connect. So this wire here with the colors is what we're running power to our camera with, which is the middle one. The red one is what you would run power to your camera. And then the yellow would be your video in, which again, normally your video out on this one would generally go directly into your video in, but we have a center component, so it's running through this. So all I need to do with this is connect the red. Um, the black right here, the black's not connected to anything. The red is what we need to connect to our video out. And then the red, which is actually our yellow on this, is going to run to the transmitter. I'll have a diagram, very clear diagram, if you're not following me, but I think for the most part, it should be that simple. And then uh, to power this up, just plug that in. So give me a second, we'll tape those up, we'll power it up, and I'll show you what it looks like on an FPV. All right display. guys, so we're all set up here. We're gonna go ahead and zoom in just to kind of do a recap here. We have our GPS unit, which is right there. All plugs runs to the GPS unit, which is right here. Then we have our ground, positive, and in coming from our camera. And we have the video in, and we have the ground, which are over here, ground running in. The red wire, as you can see, we don't have running out to anything. We're not using that. We're running that to our transmitter. Then the yellow wire is our in. Now our positive is running over here which runs into these coiled wires, the red, which goes to our transmitter, which would normally power the camera. So that's red. And there's this red wire here is actually the yellow wire, which is now our video out. And we have our positive and negative, which is positive and negative right here. And then the other one, we have a positive and negative, which is going to run to our battery. Let's go ahead and get this plugged in and uh, show you guys how this works, and that's a really good look at the board right there. We'll go ahead and zoom back out. We'll zoom out. We'll get our uh, little FPV thing here. All we're going to do to power this on is take this plug that we've created for the two cell, plug this in. As you can see, the GPS unit is on. Um, our Firefly is on. We have our transmitter which is on and automatically the firefly starts recording so we could just hit stop on it let's go ahead and power this up and turn this on and bam so as you can see it works um, that's all the telemetry you do get the one thing that you will have to do when you get this there is a button there's a button on the reverse side here you'll have to long hold it 
Once you long hold it, this is all going to be in Chinese. So you're just going to short press, short press, short press. You're going to short press past two, the first two screens here. And then you're going to go down to language, long hold, and then switch to English and then long hold again. And then exit, we'll click long hold. And it gets us out of there. And now it's in English. Before, it was a bunch of Chinese writing. All right, guys. So that's basic setup of this. We're going to go ahead and install this on that truck over there. And then we'll actually do a review of that with this on it in a separate All right, video. guys. So here's a little look at our truck. We're going to set our camera down. Um, you'll be able to see everything that I'm doing. Obviously, this connection is a different connection. But I have a LiPo that plugs directly into that where these red wires would be. It's the same connection. And we still can tap our uh, balance connector that way we get voltage but let's go ahead and install this on here the first thing we need to do is get our wires and here's our mess of wires that are all still connected we're gonna we're gonna connect our transmitter or set our transmitter as you can see I still have double-sided tape on here which should work fine um, I swear by this stuff guys right there Foam double-sided tape, one dollar, one dollar at the Dollar Tree, and you can see how many squares you get. It's individual squares. It's pre-cut. So what we're gonna do? We are just going to put this in the truck bed, just like this. We're going to bend our antenna upwards, and then, bamzo, it's there. It's stuck. As you can see, I'm able to lift it up, and that's we use that twice. That was on. The bugs over there so we we've, we've used that double-sided ta tape twice um, the next thing that we can do is let's see here I have the old double-sided tape that I took off the bugs over here which we're gonna use um, we are going to simply put on the back of our uh, our unit here which is right here and I think let's see probably going to put the camera on the hood and we could do this a lot cleaner, um, but this right here, I think what we're going to do is uh, probably just going to put this in the truck bed as well, maybe like this. That way, nope, because hmm. you want your front, you want that down and that like that. So maybe, uh, maybe just right like that. That might work. And where's our camera? See that our camera can go, our camera's not going to be able to reach. So uh, give me one second, we'll work the magic of YouTube, figure out where I want this, and uh, we'll mount this, and we'll mount the camera, and we'll come right, right back. Guys, military you. truck is up, ready to go. We have a light on our Firefly. We have our GPS light blinking. We have our blue light on our transmitter. We are connected into the battery via the balance connector. That's why we made the female balance connector, and that's the positive and negative that goes to the board. We're also connected to the truck with the same battery, which is right there. We're going to go ahead and connect our uh, FPV screen, which if you wanted not to go in goggles, this truck originally had Wi-Fi FPV, so it has a FPV mount on it. You just have to, uh, you'd have to put your battery on this side, maybe with some double-sided tape. And that's all we've used on here. Double-sided tape for this, double-sided tape for that. Double-sided tape to hold the board, which your arrow needs to be pointing up and it needs to be on the bottom. That's why you can't see it. And even for our wires, we put a piece of double-sided tape on there, we stuck the wires on, and then we sandwiched another piece. One dollar, and that's what it looks like unrolled. One dollar at the Dollar Tree. It's made by Super Glue. Dude, this stuff works. I use it all the time. Um, and it's disposable to me. At a dollar, divide it by all those pieces, it's pennies. It Maybe a fraction of a penny. But let's go ahead and get our FPV screen um, up and running, if we could get our mount here to sit we'll move this backwards and we will uh, actually take this off we're gonna go ahead and put this like this so you guys could see it bam so as you guys can see that's our screen and I'll try to move this this way you can see I'm moving it and if we were to uh, if we were to Move the truck up, you can see the base heading moving up and down off of that X. Um, the only really distance traveled, which is this one, and your speed, 
which is this one, is really going to be the only thing that you are going to get a value off this something still recording. Maybe not. Um, not sure what that's about. Or maybe that's just power. But as you can see, total voltage here is 7.6 volts. Um, I don't know. Maybe we just do a little squeezy here. There, as you can see, it's dropping just lightly to 7.5 as we are drawing the battery. Really don't got much room to move in here. But uh, that's basic setup, guys. I know a lot of people were asking about it. It's that simple. Um, my diagram, uh, I, I've i probably already inserted a couple times through here, but we're going to put the di diagram at the end here that you can follow if you didn't follow my instructions here or it was a little bit confusing you could refer to that diagram there it is basic wiring of this unit i know we did not put it on a drone dude it's the same thing just i used the rc car because it's flat and it was easier to see the end product but if you want to put it on a drone it's simple just make sure you put your board with the arrow facing down so the way that i had it on the bugs yesterday we were able to see the arrow because it was on the bottom of the unit gps you want on your highest place your transmitter you put wherever you like and your camera obviously you'll put in the front of the drone that way you can see um apply the same wiring it's all wired the same it's just mounting you just have to mount it a different way um, and on a drone, it's a little bit more complicated because we are dealing with a camera generally being in the front, um, your uh, transmitter being all the way in the back, and uh, your GPS unit having to be on the top and the board having to be underneath. So this was a little bit easier to show you. Hopefully you guys liked the video. This is the best video showing how to set this up because there really wasn't a great video on showing how to set this up. It was trial and error for me. So hopefully guys that were looking to get this, um, I've helped a lot. If you haven't subscribed, please do it later.